It is a pleasure to meet you in person with all the delegates from 13 countries. Uh, the first international symposium was held in India during March this year. And this is the second in that series. And we believe that this symposium will provide more valuable insights and learnings on creative pedagogy from the Finnish education system. I am Pita Latuka. Before coming to Finland, I was an entrepreneur and having a practicing lawyer uh, in Indian high courts and subordinate courts. As a chief coordinator of the Council for Creative Education, and as a secretary of symposium, I will be your first point of contact for this regarding to the matters regarding to symposium. <coughs> the Creative Council, the Council for Creative Education, is an organization, is an international collaborative and a research-based education, a research research-based international organization in partnership with the University of Tampere University of Tampere, City of Tampere and the University of Eastern Finland. The Finnish education system is known to be a, one of the best education system of the world. The Fini, uh, to promote and globalize it, we at CC have developed customized educational solutions under the guidance of Finnish experts who are in education system. Our area of operation is the reforms of pre-primary, primary, secondary and higher secondary education system, quality and performances assessments of the various stakeholders of the education system. All these stakeholders like student, teacher, and the parents, administrative staff, and the support staff are covered in this. Here is the agenda of the day, that inauguration speech by Vice Rector of University of Tampere, information about School of Education by the University of Tampere, and the setting the stage by Director of CC, practical issues by University of Tampere, and ed educational developments of Finland by City of Tampere. After that, we will take a lunch break for around 55 minutes, and then we will Again, assemble at Athen for room number 140 for the second session. In second session, introduction to Finnish school systems by teacher from Tampere school and the orientation regarding to the school visits from CC. After that, we will take 30 minutes for the coffee break and then we will again assemble in the same Athen for room for the Finland's approach to preschools, a viewpoint of a teacher from UK. Today, we have the honor of having company of esteemed educationists and policy makers from Finnish education system, Mr. Harry Medi and Professor Edo Roppo. Professor Harry Mellin is a sociology professor and vice rector at University of Tampere from 1998. He has held the position of professor of sociology. He was a senior research fellow at the Academy of Finland from 2002 to 2003 and has held a chair of the professor of sociology at the University of Turku. He served as the secretary of Finnish Sociological Association and has held a chair of president there. He has been a project director and national contractor of many national and international research projects. His research interests are inequality and social classes 
and currently doing research in analyzing work therapy and work commitment between Finland and Russia. He was also the editor and referee of Ecta Sociologica. Also, he is a Finnish representative in the International Social Survey Program. Professor Harry Menin to come on the stage and announce the opening of this Friday symposium. Thank you very much. Dear colleagues, on behalf of University of Tampere, I warmly welcome you all to the city of Tampere and to our university. We are at the end of August and uh, sorry, at the end of October, and the weather is like typical October weather, with the exception that it's very warm. It, should, it might have been also minus something and snowing, but now we have very normal October weather. I have had quite a busy morning. I started uh, work at eight o'clock, going to my my own office, but then at nine o'clock I had an opening speech at the. Um, course on university pedagogics. That is that our university is providing young teachers, why not also all professors, but usually they are young teachers, uh, a course on university pedagogics. And this means that our young scholars, we invite our young scholars to study and learn more about how to teach at the university and how to develop one's own skills to be a good university teacher. Tampere University is a research university. Our prime idea is, our primary first idea is that we are trying, at least trying to make work class research on the fields where we are good at and then to make national level good research on those fields where we are <coughs> developing our skills. But then, second important thing for us is to provide education which is based on the results of our research, to, to uh, provide evidence-based research for young students and young, young scholars. And the course on university pedagogics is a good possibility for our young, young generation to develop their own skills. This is one of the secrets which is behind the good performance of of Finnish system that we keep, we take care of our younger generation in order to promote their skills. Finnish educational system has been very popular during past decade because we have performed very well in PISA research and other comparative analyses concerning education. And many people have asked, them, what is the secret behind? What have you done in a so different way? There is no secret. It's just that we have been doing very hard work and very enduring work for more than 40 years, about 50 years. Actually, a big change happened in Finnish society about five, 50 years ago. That was 1960s. Finnish society went through a very rapid structural change in a time period of about 15 years from 1960s to 1970, about from the year 1960 to 1975. And during this 15 years period, Finnish society changed from an agricultural and rural society to a wage labor urban society. And at the same time, there was a big change in Finnish political life, that the <coughs> politics of old agricultural, rural society turned out to be, in comparative terms, very modern wage labor way of thinking and wage labor way of doing politics. And what Finnish legislators at the end of 60s and early, nine, early 70s deciding was that we should reform our health care system, that we built up a comprehensive 
public, a, a comprehensive healthcare system which is based on public financing, <coughs> finances and public production of, of healthcare. We also renew our social security systems and what was the most important, that there was a big reform in the educational system. The current Finnish educational system was created during the years at the end of 60s, early 70s. And one important part of that reform was that there was a decision that all Finnish teachers should have university ed education. So from mid-70s onwards, all the generation of Finnish teachers, that is starting from primary school up till, <coughs> up till secondary education, that they have gone through basic five years, but they all have masters. They are masters in education. And most of the teachers are not only masters in education, but they have very strong sub substance education as well. So that those who are language teachers in Finland have to learn English or Swedish or, or Russian or German language. Those who are mathematicians math who are teaching maths in, in Finnish schools, they have maths, they have, they have studied maths at the, at the university. And this has been one of the key elements behind the rapid development of Finnish school system. And, on, and later on also our kindergarten teachers have, have that, that we have a, also our kindergarten preschool teachers, they have also university education. Though most of them, they have done all, only BA, not, not full MA, but they have BA, BA education. This is one of the important things. Then, second important thing is something we can import or we can export the idea of how we, how we produce teachers and how we develop our school system. But one thing that we cannot develop, sorry, one thing that we cannot export and what's, what is behind the Finnish secret <coughs> or the, the success story Finland is that during those years or during well, it goes back to very long back to history it's a long story that I cannot tell in these few minutes I have to, but one thing that happened in, in, in 60s and it has been in a way reproduced and reproduced is the idea that we have very very strong institutional trust or confidence People rely on, on state. The most relied institution in Finland is police. We can also trust our taxi drivers. They are not shifting you. But we can trust on institutions. And there is a wrong, very strong trust that, what, that, that the public sector is something that is trying to build a good future for all people, regardless of their <coughs> social background. So that there is kind of idea that if you are trying enough, the cities, municipalities and the state is doing whatever they can to support your own effort. And the schooling system in Finland is based on very, very strong trust on each player, each actor in the system. And then another important thing which is, I think, and this is my sociological interpretation, which is important, is that our school system is based on the idea that we take care of all our children, not only those who are the clever ones, who are at the top, who are the quick learners, who are almost like Nobel, Nobel Prize winners in comparison to their, to their fellow uh, students, but we take care of all, the whole generation that we guarantee a learning environment and school, schooling system which does not leave anyone behind. And that there are no dead ends at the school system. If you at some point of your teenage, if you think that, in, in, well, this is typical for Finnish boys, that at the, third, at the age of 13 everything sucks. That family, <laughs> that parents are really terrible, school sucks, the whole thing sucks except for games or football or, or hockey. But if after three years, when you are suffered the difficult years of your teenage, you decided, oh my god, I was stupid at that time, now I should do something else. That 
it's not that the gates are not closed, but you have an alternative, you have a, you have a possibility to correct or make new decisions in your, for your life. This is the important part of the, of the Finnish educational system, that there are no dead ends in the, in the way. And we really try to take care of the whole, whole cohort, the whole generation. And this is something that you, you, you cannot, I mean, that you cannot export in a very easy way, that you, you have to build up kind of mentality or traditions where there is confidence for, for social institutions and there is trust among, among citizens. We are good at at uh, providing teacher education, we are good at providing basic education, we are pretty good at the higher education as well. Finnish universities are not on the top of Shanghai list, but if we look at international comparisons, Finnish universities are around position of 350 in the, in the different rankings. But we are not in the, alone in the world, we need to learn also. We need to have international cooperation, international comparisons, and international dialogue. And it's urgently important for <coughs> Finnish universities and Finnish scholars to discuss and have a dialogue with, with their international uh, partners. And this kind of symposiums are very important for University of Tampere in order to change ideas, to have a possibility for dialogue and not only dialogue. Science cannot develop without criticism and without debate and debating with, with each other in a friendly <coughs> and positive way. And I hope that the seminar that you are having today will provide all participants a good possibility for exchanging ideas, to pose critical questions and think how to develop our educational systems even into more creative directions. I wish you all a nice and fruitful conference. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Professor Hay. I would like to introduce Professor Eho Ropo, who is a senior professor and internationally acknowledged researcher from Department of Education, University of Tampere, Finland. Currently, he is a member of the governing board, School of Education at University of Tampere. Also, he is a member of the editorial board, Scandinavian Journal of Research, Educational Research, he is a renowned expert in the fields of educational psychology, ICT in education, teacher education, and the curriculum theory. He has more than 35 years experience in the teaching profession and is a principal researcher in the Finnish education. There is more than 16 doctoral degrees made under his supervision at the University of Tampere and the Aalto University. Currently, he is doing supervision of 10 actively working doctoral students at the University of Tampere and one doctoral student at the University of Tartu, Estonia. He is an experienced referee and opponent of doctoral desert, uh, dissertations and public defenses. A visiting professor in Texas, USA also. He is an educational consultant for a textbook project in Zambia and many Asian countries. He has been a regular keynote speaker at the Chiba University of Japan. Thank you, Mr. Eero. <laughs> now I would request Professor, uh, now I would request Ms. Kirsi Maria. Kirsi Maria Wario Korpi to explain School of Education. She is from University of Tampere. Okay. Good morning. 
morning, everyone. My name is Kirsi Maria Valiokorpi, and I am a coordinator of international education and training in the School of Education at Tandering University. And I will here briefly tell you something about our, our school. Um, and uh, I would um, I try to tell you those things that the other our other presenters do not tell you. So um, I think this is more like orientation for you to these these days here in symposium, and I will assure you that all these things will open up to better than the time goes on. But um, at first, um, as uh, as Vector Menin just told that in Finland, one of the uh, one of the special feature in Finnish educational system is that our <coughs> our teachers all are master level. They have master level degrees. So it is uh, also uh, from the point of view of school of education, it is very important to understand that. A degree uh, in education is in Finland a license to teach. There are no other demands for the teachers to have a job in Finland. I think Dr. Yusena will tell you more this, uh, about this later on, but this is something that you should maybe take uh, understand. And then uh, another thing is that uh, we have a very strong emphasis on research-based education. So uh, uh, in, in whole society and, and in our, our school, it's, it's very important that uh, our students get basic skills to make their own research as well. Uh, it is not that they will become researchers, but they have uh, skills to develop their work in a research-based manner in the future, in their future career. And then uh, one thing that had to be mentioned here is our view of uh, learning. Uh, it, is, um, uh, it is very much based on the idea that, uh, for, first of all, the activity of child, pupils and students in their learning, learning by doing or learning, learning by participating things. Uh, and uh, the idea is that we believe that understanding is important in learning more than just memorizing uh, facts and things. So this is one of the very important points and I think it suits very nicely to this symposium theme, the creativity. But then let's look at uh, uh, briefly to our School of Education um, and who we are. Uh, uh, in spite of the name that is School of Education, the school is uh, actually a, a scientific faculty. So it has, um, in, um, it has um, uh, compared uh, uh, departments of uh, early childhood education, primary teacher education, substance teacher education, and uh, adult education, known as, we call it lifelong learning. So this is a, um, uh, so this is a unit that uh, combines research and, uh, and uh, uh, education in itself. And um, who we are, um, uh, we are n our mission or our purpose at the moment is to create a community where researchers, uh, uh, lecturers or teachers and students uh, can uh, interact uh, very effectively and uh, creatively as well uh, within their uh, studies and within their activities. And uh, as, uh, as uh, Rector Melin uh, already told that we have uh, in a Tampere University we have an emphasis of society, societal views. So our focus is uh, uh, on the contemporary issues, contemporary problems, and solving them. Uh, so it, it is uh, this profile is maybe a little bit different from other 
and other teacher training and education units in Finland. And what we try to do, we try to train culturally aware experts of education. So not just uh, uh, narrow experts, but culturally aware, uh, who can uh, who are engaging wide-ranging and uh, critical thinking. So it's a uh, this is a very um, very important purpose in our activities. But let's then uh, have a few facts about our school. So, we educate uh, teachers to all levels of education, uh, from the uh, uh, early childhood educators to the lifelong learning or adult educators. And uh, this gives us a special um, a very important possibility to have in our unit to have discussion on the uh, person's uh, whole lifelong path of learning. And this will uh, uh, enrich our our work. Uh, also, we have these educational research activities. I will tell you something about them later on. And we provide continuing education as well. And we have uh, this. Uh, we have research-based curriculum uh, and instruction development. So it is um, at the moment we are renewing our our unit's curriculum, and uh, it's, uh, it's very important uh, collaborative effort in our unit. But then, let's say, let's look at the other. So we have, uh, if you now take the organiza organizational point of view, we have um, student admissions, we have uh, three kind of uh, uh, programs, lifelong learning uh, uh, and education programs, so the, to, to, they will become a, a life and educational expert to business and public organizations in society. And they will have primary teacher education uh, for the teachers uh, teaching uh, small, younger children from the age of 7 to 12. And then we have an early childhood education program. It's uh, for the kindergarten teachers. Um, and then uh, in Finnish system, uh, we have uh, also a subject teacher uh, education, but it goes a little bit different um, way. Uh, it's uh, uh, subject teachers have their studies in their subject, let's say like maths, uh, physics, and chemistry, or languages, let's say English, Swedish, and um, Russian. And uh, then they come in our unit to have their pedagogical studies and practice in a teacher, teacher uh, training practice school. But I'm not going uh, into details in this because uh, Professor Eva Roko will give you a thorough lecture of these, these matters. So and then about uh, our unit, we are a small unit. We have uh, about uh, 1,500 students yearly. And uh, the, uh, in the national joint application procedure, uh, we have uh, maybe Professor Rocco will tell you more about this. But anyway, the, this is uh, makes a kind of picture about it. We had. Uh, uh, 2,462 first choice applicants this year and um, uh, 230 was um, uh, was taken in to study in our unit. So it is uh, also it is quite difficult to get in to our school and uh, uh, I have to say that uh, a school of Education at Tampere University is the most popular um, in, uh, among the uh, young, young people's uh, student applicants in Finland. So it is uh, most difficult to get in, to, uh, in our unit, especially in uh, primary teacher training. Uh, when we are a small unit, so we have some uh, 
be 120, 110 to 20 master degrees a year and about 15 doctor, PhD degrees uh, yearly, annually. And staff about 200, uh, uh, 100 in our unit in, uh, in School of Education and 100 in our teacher training, in teacher training practice school. And turnover about 2,000. Uh, I'm sorry, 20, 22 million euros. And here we have our um, organization uh, picture. <coughs> it's maybe a little complicated. No? <laughs> but the, uh, the point is why I show it to you that it is um, in our school we, uh, we uh, prepare and uh, develop uh, things, uh, activities, uh, curricula, teaching, research, uh, a lot of in, in a collaborative way. So you can see here that there are uh, many kinds of uh, groups that work and uh, uh, under, the, uh, under the leading leadership of our professors. And then, uh, of course, there is a dean and vice dean uh, board that makes the uh, most important decisions, and executive group that helps in the decision making. Uh, also, prof professor in charge of uh, uh, developing research, and so on and so on. But the idea is that uh, a lot of work is done in uh, work groups and um, where the uh, staff uh, participates. And also, we have um, we forced uh, the participation of students also, even in administration. We have a student representative to to get the students' voice uh, to be heard. So uh, then, um, about the research. So we have the. Um, idea that of the staff, most of the uh, most of staff members are making research in their career and about it's over 30. 30% 30 of the work plan hours is used to research. Of course it depends on, um, it varies uh, from person to person. And at the moment we have five uh, bigger research projects with external funding. And then a little bit about our research focus areas. Mm. Education policy is one of our focus, and especially we are studying international and national uh, policy discourses and how they impact in, in, in the practices. And here we have some uh, few, uh, we have a few uh, international uh, research programs here. And then uh, education and learning environments are very important. Um, as, uh, as I already pointed out, that we have this uh, idea of, uh, of uh, uh, learning as an active process of students, pupils and students. And uh, we uh, uh, have a special uh, emphasis on this uh, learning environments, not only ICT, of course, ICT and mobile environments are, are crucially important at the moment, but also we have an inter increasing multicultural context uh, in Finland and international contexts. And then we have curricular development, development uh, in all levels of education. It is a kind of an effort that is going on all the time. And some, I just show you that there are some names of these, uh, these uh, research projects that we have on this area. Then we have uh, an important, I mean, this Tampere University tradition, also important um, uh, field citizenship and participation. And there we have uh, uh, also international and transnational orientation. And here are examples of some, some research projects. And then uh, uh, 
the last but not the least, professional growth and development. It is a very important uh, uh, thing uh, with the, uh, especially in teacher career, to take care of uh, renewing uh, professional competencies uh, during the career, the whole career. So um, we uh, do have a special uh, concern also in our basic education to these questions and uh, uh, respective research. Okay, maybe this was briefly about research. Uh, I think that also uh, also. Uh, Professor Erdogan will maybe tell you a little about these things as well in, in his presentation later on. And then if we look at the concrete things, so you can see here locations in... Um, oh, no. I think I have something. Am I missing something? No. Well, anyway, here we have our, our two... two um, Buildings or units. Another is the Virta building where the School of Education is, and then another is a picture of the, our teacher training uh, practice school that is not in the campus area. But uh, we are working uh, very, um, uh, very closely with our teacher training uh, practice school staff. And okay, here here you can see our our. Um, Situation, so you see that we are in the very in, in the campus area, uh, very near to campus area. So it's easy, easy to us to get together with other other schools and meetings and so on. Okay, and now a few words about the teach training school uh, of our university. Uh, it is. Um, in fact, it is a kind of a, a average school uh, in, in the meaning that uh, there is no special selection of children to this uh, uh, practice school. It's uh, children come to school from the nearby uh, region uh, as in any school in, in Finland. But our school, a uh, practice school has about uh, 900 pupils and 100 staff members, uh, 80 teachers, and budget about 11 million. And uh, all this teacher education uh, is academic and takes place in universities. Uh, so, uh, teacher education uh, programs. Um, mm, or as, let's say we have 11 schools in Finland and uh, they are, um, how can I say, uh, all the teachers are have their practice in these uh, teacher training schools and our school is one of them. And they are integral parts of the faculties of education. And uh, benefits of being academic, so the teach training schools have this um, close link to teaching practices with the science of education. So uh, most of the uh, in teachers in uh, teacher practice school have uh, do, uh, do their own research and they have a discussion with the researchers about the latest latest results of the research. Uh, so practice and theory are intertwined in these schools. And uh, uh, this um, arrangement also um, uh, assures a high quality of tutoring, guarantees a high quality of tutoring. So our three teacher trainees get the very uh, high level uh, uh, counseling or supervising of the teachers who have didactical competencies, high-level high didactical didactic competencies. So uh, tutoring teachers are experts, not only their discipline, but also tutoring and education. They have a little bit higher salary than uh, average teachers in Finland. 
And then about this, uh, our units, also uh, teacher training at a school and uh, a school of education, we have a very uh, narrow collaboration with the municipality. So um, the pupils uh, come from the Tampere city to the school. The curriculum uh, and curriculum development is based on uh, uh, Finnish uh, core curriculum. And uh, also special need pupils uh, are, are uh, in inclusion um, uh, so that um, uh, this, well, you will hear about this more, but this inclusive uh, policy to have all children in the classroom is also takes place in, in our teacher training practice schools, but it has not uh, its own special uh, special education classes. So uh, our uh, those children who need special education classes, so they go to the municipals. As well as uh, afternoon daycare uh, to young, for younger people comes from municipals and healthcare and, and preschool education. So it is not uh, it's not an island of its own, but it's in a very, very uh, narrow collaboration with the municipality. And collaboration with the university is also is also. Uh, important here, and the current topics that uh, that are in in the teacher training um, school uh, at the moment uh, on the agenda are e-learning. Uh, in its, uh, for instance, they have uh, developing um, iPad using in in learning at the moment. And then uh, developing teaching methods, uh, always it is uh, an agenda there. Uh, they have a lot of international cooperation on, in, in Europe, within Europe and uh, also other parts of the world. And um, they also foster active citizenship, for instance, uh, having a pupils councils and, uh, and trying to activate pupils to take part uh, or kind of societal things that are available for young people. And then this is well, what our, our North City Teach Training Practice School will always emphasize that it is uh, nowadays uh, also teaching, running a school, it is teamwork where pupil, parents, students, uh, teachers and tutoring teachers work together. Okay, this was this, my presentation. Maybe you get some orientation to the, to the next presentations. Thank you very much. supposed to be. After this, today, we are having lunch in this building on the second floor. You'll find your lunch, lunch tickets from your folders. And it's the lunch of the day, 
So let's just go on, take a lunch, and then uh, give the lunch ticket to the cashier. This is where we are at the moment, this big building. And after lunch, you'll be going to this building number two, this, which is up. And the best way to go there, of course, is to walk. Oh, sorry, we're here in number where this information is. Just walk across there. Yeah, it's about 200 meters, not very long. And that car is warm, hopefully not raining too much during these days. And there you, there you'll be spending this afternoon. And there is coffee served. Every time I'm going, there is a coffee break. The coffee is served just outside the room. And then tomorrow you will be going to uh, school visits, which Rita will tell you more about. And the visits start uh, in front of the main building, the University of Tampere in this camp and that's you have this map you have this map in your folders so if you want you can just go there this is the university main building number one and here is the main entrance this is where you will be gathering tomorrow morning to start to go to school visits This is the main road. When you came here, I think you come from there. This is it. This is where you will be gathering tomorrow morning. This is the main road, which you have to come across or uh, underneath through the tunnel to get here where we are at the moment. <coughs> and then, on Wednesday morning, you will get to know the main campus very well during <laughs> these days. I'm sorry about these uh, or arrangements, but the main students of the university needs the, the lecture room, so we didn't have the possibility 